the ISA-1 Digital, the classic Focusrite Mic Pre and simultaneous DI. Now with class leading stereo ADC as standard. It's the AES show, day two. I'm. It's the AES show, day two. I'm here with Jason on the Telefunken booth. He's going to show us something tremendous. Tremendous, I like that, yeah. that's great. Hi, I'm Jason Scherner. I'm here with Telefunken Electroacoustic. We're here with Sound on Sound at AES 2011 here in New York City. One of the things that we're really excited about is our new Teletree tri-mono microphone system. It's designed uh, in concept uh, with the same uh, elements as the original Decatree system, but one of the things with the uh, Decatree system, it's like trying to ride, teach somebody how to ride a unicorn. Where, where are you going to get one? So one of the things that we've done is we've created a system that makes sense on all levels with all the original elements of the Decatree system. We're using our Elam 260 in Omni, because obviously it has interchangeable capsules, car cardioid, hypercardioid, and Omni. So you take three 260s and you put them into an Omni configuration. You have a small diaphragm Omni condenser based on a sub-miniature tube and an ultra high quality transformer, very much like an M50. We also embrace the concept of the sphere around the capsule to put back frequencies that are lost at distance. But what we decided to do was give this system three times the flexibility of the original Decatree system by using interchangeable and different size spheres for the capsules. Now these are prototypes. The, the final version will be a clear acrylic. But the idea is that the sphere puts back frequencies that are lost at distance. So if you're close enough that you're not losing anything, why use the sphere? If you're in a smaller or more medium-sized range, uh, medium-sized soundstage, ensemble, then we've got size number one that we can use on the sphere. If you're in a situation where you've got a huge soundstage, big symphony, big ensemble, you're tracking for the next motion picture blockbuster, you go with the full-size sphere. And it winds up being a turnkey solution for almost anybody to score music for film or to record your environment uh, in, a, in a theater or, or anything along those lines where the sound of the room and the environment as a whole is a big part of what you're trying to capture. And with the simplicity of the uh, suggested distances for each sphere and the simplicity of the ratios that you apply to the triangle of the teletree, uh, even a 10-year-old can effectively score music for film. The system also comes with a proprietary three-channel power supply, tri-mono, that has uh, individual power switches for each section, but also has XLR inputs on the front and on the back for convenience. One of the things that we also love about the Teletree system is that once you've scored the, the music for your film and it's time to go out in the field and do your sound effects and Foley work, you can take the stereo battery power supply, pull two of the three microphones, use whichever of the three interchangeable capsules are appropriate, and do all of your sound effects recording. All in a system that, again, is very easy to use, very affordable, consistent, quiet, reliable. It's, 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 it's been a big hit. So you're selling this as a complete package with the power supply, the mics, and the stand. Is that how it works? The stand will be an accessory, and we're working on that right now. And there, it will be a complete system, although there will be a couple of different packages based on the accessories that are appropriate for the particular user. Can you give us any pricing on the individual components? Well, the basic system is going to be in the range of about $4,200. So okay. you're you're at a fraction of the cost of a single M50 for a complete Teletree system. And shipping estimates? I think we're shipping these things in the next couple months. We've already started taking orders. Uh, we've got some beta test units out at some pretty substantial uh, recording and soundstage facilities, and the feedback has been tremendous. Uh, and our educational facilities have already started ordering these because, again, they've been teaching the concept of the decatry, but with no way to actually put it into practice. Again, the whole concept of teaching somebody to ride a unicorn, where do you get one? Yeah. Well, this is, this is the unicorn that we're putting out there for, for engineers to ride. So order now for Christmas. 
Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Absolutely. Jason. Thank you very much.